Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 117. Thank you so much for anyone who sends in your gameplay. For those of you who don't know what this is, you sent any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it. I review it. It's also in the description. You can send me any gameplay you have that's recorded or streamed or anything. Literally anything. Uh, twos, threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus, Raids. I have done it all. Miss Weaver, Windwalker. I do it all. So please send me your gameplay. I'm more than happy to help. I think one of the best ways to learn and improve is to record a gameplay and watch it back. So even if you're too shy and you don't want to submit it, <clears throat> I would still record a gameplay, watch it back. You will see a lot of mistakes. Trust me. Today, we have Danny Danny who says, sorry, video asking about VODs. Here you go. I'm hard stuck 1600. Keep going 3-3, occasionally 4-2 or 2-4. Happens to everybody. Trust me. Um, the most important thing, especially as a healer, is you want to make sure you're going at least 3-3. That way you get some MMR and you don't lose any rating. But yeah, the key is to go 4-2, 5-1, even 6-0, which is rare, but it happens. Um, for my spec, you say I don't play Touch of Death as I'm paranoid about getting too close and getting CC'd. That's fair. Um, Touch of Death is pretty solid later into dampening. A really good way to like finish off the enemies. But yeah, if, if you don't want to play and you're not comfortable, that's fine. Uh, as a result, I don't have much pressure outside my CC chain. Uh, you're a misweaver. As, if you're not fist weaving and you're misweaving, um, you're not going to have any pressure. Uh, you go for in-cap sweep songs, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I'm also not sure I'm healing optimally. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll be watching that too. Games go really sweaty sometimes with me feeling like I fall behind out of the blue. All right. Uh, I'm sure there are many other issues. Hoping you can help me get to the next level. Of course, big fan. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I will absolutely do that. Before we do it, this uh, this transmog check is actually looking a little clean right here. This is going to be some like Aemon Targaryen vibes with the uh, eye patch. Even though I think the eye patch for Aemon is on the... The left eye, this is actually a pretty sick transmog. Uh, this is like 8 out of 10 for sure. I like it a lot. Um, <coughs> all right, let's get into the game now. Let's get into the game. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, so we got Arms Warrior, Feral, yeah, Feral Druid. And then we also have Havoc Demon Hunter, Frost Mage, Resto Druid. Okay, so you can normally out dampen the Resto Druid if your DPS decide to cleave. You say we're not playing Touch of Death, so let me see what we're playing. Let's see. Let me see the talents real quick here. Let me make sure everything's working okay. Um... We drop touch of death. That's fine. This is good. This is okay. Yeah, I don't see an issue, really. If you don't want to play touch of death, I mean, you just lose out on the potential for getting a kill. But if you're not comfortable pushing in, completely fine. On the right-hand side, it looks like we are playing... Yeah, this is before the 10.0.7, so this is 10.0.5. But these talents don't really matter too, too much. Um, the only thing I would say is I would maybe drop Misty Peaks. Well, it depends. If you're playing Verse Mastery, I would drop Misty Peaks and go Overflowing Mist. If you're playing Haste Verse, I would drop I would drop these three and go like two into Overflowing Mist and like one into Shailun's Gift. But I think overall this is solid. I like the life cycles as well. Um, yeah, no, I'm. Oh, isn't too bad. Oh, what talents are we running? We're playing Eminence, Peace Weaver, Chrysalis. Perfect. Okay, good. Good talents. Let's try to take advantage of Eminence. They do, let's see, we're playing against Demon Hunter. Druids can rake stun into Cyclone. So try to keep that in mind. You could port the stun. Um, Demon Hunters can go for a stun fear on you. So keep that in mind as well. Mages don't really have a stun unless they play Snowdrift. So I don't think they're going to be stunning you. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, it's going to be really useful when you play against the Pharaoh Druid and the Warrior though. All right, so we are going. Game is live. We got a port down, statue up. Awesome. Good start to the game. Uh, let's get our new missed out. So I'm, I, I'm, I don't comment on UIs. I, I really don't. Um, just, we're, it looks like we're playing. It's either Grid or Voodoo. I don't know which one it is. Um, try to, you know, as you progress higher in arena, try to keep in mind targeting your teammates is really important. And looking over here is like takes you away from the middle of the screen. Because right now, by the way, the druid's on top of you. Um, if you didn't know, the druid actually dazed you because he used this feral, what is it, feral leap? I think that's what it's called. So you're dazed right now. And I'm sure you can't see this dazed right here because you're looking over here trying to get your new mist out. The druid's right behind you. You can actually sweep right now or shadow meld and not get rake stunned because that's probably what he's going to do. Um, but if you, so just keep that in mind. It, it does take away some of your awareness. I would just make keybinds for your teammates to target. That's pretty much it. Uh, but that's the only comments I'm going to make about it. Whatever you're comfortable with is fine. But the druid is on top. You're probably going to rake stun you. Yep. So the druid rake stuns you. Again, right now our port is in an awkward spot. It's right on the edge here. So even if you port, you're going to get cycloned. What I would do is maybe put the port over on the other corner and tr just, you know, um, th that way, if you get any CC on you, even if the mage tries to CC you, you can line it completely without them, without having to waste port. 
But we do get stunned or stun cyclone, uh, which is fine. So this guy renewing missed out. Perfect. That's KS Nova from the Demon Hunter. Looks like we just revivaled there. This is fine because it's Icy Veins. I don't think he used a Glacial Spike though yet. There's the Glacial Spike from the Mage. I'm actually surprised we're not hitting the Mage and we're hitting the Demon Hunter. We do use Life Cocoon on the Pharaoh's Druid, which is fair. Um, that's also Bar Skin from the Pharaoh. But it's, I, I would say hit the Mage probably. I don't know. Incap here. Good. Incap. Um... No song off or sweep, which is okay. Just keep your team alive. The, the most important thing, we do trinket right there. Okay. We do trinket. I don't know if we had to trinket here, though. Let me see. Uh, it's a DR poly. Maybe. Maybe. If, I mean, your warrior did use parry, though. So maybe we didn't have to trinket. Maybe a little bit of an overlap there. Uh, just keep it in mind. Don't forget to heal when you're going for CC. That was one big thing when I sort of first started playing Mistweaver was I would go for like an in-caps like song or, so, or in-caps sweep and I just wouldn't heal. A uh, really good leg sweep there as well. Really, really solid leg sweep. I really liked, uh, wait, what, what was the DR on the Druid? Let me see. Oh no, it's perfect. Good. Insane leg sweep. Good leg sweep there. Really, really good. And on Demon Hunter. Uh, we do four brew here. Uh, you could, pr before you even use any cooldown, like major cooldowns like four brew, uh, just, I would just pour it. You know, port is a really short cooldown, and it's, you know, they're probably not going to chase you. Most teams will not chase you, especially in solo shuffle. Uh, but they're trying to do damage to you here. Really good. They're, perfect. Read my mind. Great job healing, by the way. I know you mentioned your email. You're falling behind. We're doing a really good job. I mean, the mage does have CS, so be careful with that. But he's in the ice block, so he should be okay. Blur from the demon hunter as well. Uh, it looks like we're still going to target the demon hunter, though. Demon hunters, no, they have no trinkets. So next CC chain. <coughs> excuse me the next cc chain could be really really strong um like with a sweep or something in five could maybe sweep the demon hunter and just kill him because he's got no blur no darkness no nether i mean no no cooldowns on this on this on this frame right now so and no trinket here as well so um if we're gonna get cc it'd probably be soon we have yulon right now which is perfect we also have instant vivify i think we're taking advantage of it as much as we can let me see yeah good Good, good work. All right, we're doing a really good job healing. We have Renewing Mist out on the Feral. Maybe get one out on the Warrior, because again, they are cleaving. Demon Hunters do a lot of cleave damage. So I would maybe just put a Renewing Mist on Demon Hunter or even yourself. I don't know how many charges we have. Oh no, yeah, no, perfect, you did it. All right, awesome. Uh, maybe get second block here with that in-cap. Really good time to in-cap. Now, very important, you don't have to keep getting CC, by the way. So. In solo shuffle, dampening is already ramping up. It's so high. Like, we're already, what, two, almost two minutes into the game? This game probably isn't going to go longer than another minute, if that. So, don't, you don't, you know, we get an insane in-cap here. Insane in-cap. We don't have to commit any further. I mean, I, this leg sweep is insane, but, I mean, it's actually half. It's actually a half stun. So, not the greatest leg sweep. Oh, we're going for a song as well. We nice. We get Trank. But again, you don't have to push in for this because if the mage, you know, saw it, I mean, he could counter spell you and then all of a sudden you're going to fall really far behind. So just keep that in mind. Going, getting quick in caps, beautiful. I mean, if you can get anything else off that, insane. But don't jeopardize falling behind for it. Um, in cap sweeps are obviously amazing if you can get like one or two people. But outside of that, just go for quick in caps on like a casted heal. Uh, Glacial Spike coming in hot. Renewing Mist. Pro uh, we do get in capped. Well, that does DR with Polly. So that is good for us. Um, we do get stunned, but there's no follow up, which is even better for us. Druid is Um. So this is what I was talking about. As long as they've spread, like as long as two people are taking damage, the Druid is going to run out of mana so quickly, like so fast. And you're already at, what are you at? You're at 75% mana. So at this point, you're just living. You're you're at this point. I would not jeopardize Song of Chigi's. That way, you get kicked. I would go for incaps on the Druid when you can. There's a hunt right there. Again, I would not jeopardize anything. Just heal. Focus on healing. We have Life Cocoon. Beautiful, beautiful Life Cocoon. Great positioning right now, by the way. Just right on the pillar, Druid. I mean, we are stacked on our port though. So again, moving around, moving your port is really nice, but you need to make sure you position yourself away from it. So if this guy leaps in to stun you, you could port and avoid CC. <clears throat> That's very important. Um, we can also kick this, by the way. Um, this is kickable right here. So you're not stunned. The druid is behind you. No one's no one's near you. I mean, we're dying, but that's okay. We also have Shadow Meld. So we have Shadow Meld and we have Kick that we could definitely use to avoid this Cyclone. Um, port is a li I mean, you could pour and like quickly move, um, but I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. But this was definitely avoidable. Mm, I hope we don't die. We do Parry Rally, which is good. I think the next stun on the Demon Hunter could just be win. Uh, we have Light... No, we don't have Light Sweep. We just use it. Okay. 
Nice song here though. Insane song. Good. I don't think the mage has any ice blocks either. I think we just use I think they just use cold snap ice block. So I think the mage might just die here. Let's chaos nova on both your teammates. Druid has no mana though. That's the thing, is the druid has no mana. So just keep your team alive. Just focus on keeping your team alive and you're chilling. Like really good work here. Uh renewing mist again. <clears throat> Definitely keep your renewing mist up. That's bash. Beautiful. Here you see how long did the game go? Like an extra minute from what I said. <clears throat> the games are gonna go fast. Damping is really high. As long as you're hitting like two targets, the Druid is going to struggle. The Druid is probably a little bit squishy too. Druid could probably be a kill target as well if he's taking... I mean, he could go the hide, but I think he is still killable, right? If he's running all these talents. Again, we did play Eminence. We didn't really get good value out of it. Um, hopefully, we could just... I would position your port on one side of the pillar and then position yourself on the other side of the pillar. That way, I don't know where our action bar is right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, it's back. All right, cool. Um, again, I would put your port like on this side of the pillar maybe or like right here and then position yourself here. That way you could pour and there's no good way for the druid to get the cyclone on you because there's nothing that feels worse than giving a druid a free cyclone in the opener. Demon Hunter Feral probably just going to hit the mage, I would say. All right, so there's port. So we could port this. We This is portable. Um, you can you could pour it. Hit your T. Boom, port. <clears throat> okay. So we're definitely not porting our stuns, unfortunately. I think we're saving it for when we get trained, but most most teams won't train you, unless it's like super late and dampening and you fall behind. That's life recruiting from us on the Feral Druid. A little bit of slight overlap there. Um, <clears throat> when you're in CC, when I'm in CC, what I try to do is I try to, especially in solo shuffle, because you know you don't have any voice communication, I, I try to see what buttons my teammates are pressing. Like, do they notice I'm in a Cyclone? Oh, it looks like, you know, Bark Skin. It looks like, what, Icy Veins, Avatar. It's a lot of damage, so I think we life cocoon. Yeah, it's actually the Feral's fault. I mean, I'm not going to blame, but uh, he does overlap survival instincts with renewal with your life cocoon. So big overlap there. There is a fear going out in your druid. You get feared, but it's okay because the druid gets feared from the sigil from your demon hunter. <clears throat> so we're doing a really good job right now. Renewing mist. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Good, good, good position. Oh, don't go too far. All right, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Let's, don't go too far from this pillar. This... Um, you know, this is your home. There's a glacial spike. It looks like uh, we gave the mage precog. Um, you're not on any DRs from what I have seen. It looks like, oh, you're tracking DRs, you disorients. So you can still get bash clone. So don't go too far here. Don't go too far. I would just stay. Yep, good. Perfect. Awesome. Good. Oh, it's, this is okay. This, your teammates kind of went a little too far ahead. They probably shouldn't be positioning this far, but just go to move to this pillar, put your port on this side of the pillar. And then put your and then position over here, and then you should be okay. Being out in the open is a little scary versus a mage and a druid because you could get poly, 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 cyclone, 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 bash, poly, poly, poly. So <clears throat> you can get CC'd. Oh, well done. Well, perfect job repositioning here too. Really, really good. Um, I overall we're doing a really good job. Again, though, we we do stack on our port, so we can't actually port this stun to avoid the cyclone. So one a big major thing is. That I'm noticing is do not do not position on top of your port. It just don't do it. It's uh, it makes it very difficult for you to avoid CC. We also could have kicked this clone. I think yeah, this is kickable, hundred percent. Just kick him right here. Um, I don't know if we have Rop. Maybe we have we have Shadow Meld as well. Um, no, nah, but this is this is kickable. So I would I would have kicked this for sure. Um, I think we also had Leg Sweep coming up too, but I think it would have been DR'd. So maybe it wasn't worth it. We have Ink Cap here. Sweep is good. Sweep is good. Song is even better. Beautiful. Um, don't forget to heal, of course. Trust me. Don't do not don't forget to heal. I've made that mistake. But we're doing a really good job. Again, again, we're out in the open right now. No reason to be out in the open right now. There is we are we're not in range of our port. You can see uh, your T keybind is your port. We are out of range of our port. That's like a, a huge rule. Uh, port is like I know it's it's not used often, but it's like the biggest cooldown you have for you. Like avoid CC, reposition. You can free cast on yourself. So like it's very very important to always be in range of your port. And we are we are nowhere near it. And then the I don't know. As long as we don't give the mage precog, maybe we should be fine. Um, but you see the druid right now. Oh, something else I I, I do want to note is um, try to make a focus keybind as well. So this this way you could track two cast bars instead of one. I know it can be overwhelming, but focus. I, I I having a focus frame is like 
when you first like it, it's really good it's really really good for awareness so you can see that the druid is trying to cast a cyclone and at the same time the mage is trying to cast a glacial spike so you can see that they're going for damage and then the mage or, and the druid is trying to cc you so obviously this is their go um, we do get cyclone again because we are out in the open and we're far from a port so we can't avoid it uh insane typhoon there from your feral druid actually wow that was that was really heads up play there from the feral druid now it's kind of up to you to kind of uh follow that up so we can go for a dr in cap which isn't ideal but again you can kick or you could shadow mold um if we have rop <clears throat> we do have rop available as well so we have three different ways to kick the cyclone um which we don't it's okay we got a pre-cocoon on the go that's fine that's fine probably still would have had a pre-cocoon either way even if you stopped it but uh they just overlapped iron bark and ice block so this this is a dub right here uh stormbolt on you we do trinket again I, we don't have to trinket here because we're in range of our port and we can port while stunned. So don't freak out when you get stunned. Use your port. You could port to the other pillar. If he charges, if he leaps to you, port back. You're fine. He has no ability to get to you. Um, <clears throat> instead, we use four proof rop. Oh, we, we we moved our port here. Okay, that's fine too. Uh, that would have been a little bit awkward if you ported there for sure. Um, get our renewing mist out. Perfect. It's about to fall on the feral druid. So just keep that in mind. This is why I like to run Overflowing Mist. That way you don't need to spend time using Renewing Mist. You can just use Evolve Mist to get Renewing Mist up, which I love. Um, <clears throat> nice nice stun on the mage here. Really good into a song. Probably didn't have to song there because it kind of gets rid of all your Feral Bleeds <clears throat> and your Demon Hunter Bleeds. But the Warrior got slept, which is kind of funny. Uh, so at this point, Druid again, running out of mana. You're going to Umum, especially if you're hitting two targets. Uh, all you need to do is focus on living. We have Restoral, Thunder Focus T. We have no Trinket though. So this is going to be a little rough, but oh, oh my, oh my. Okay, wait, what just happened? We used Revival, didn't we? Yeah, we used Revival. We have mana. Okay. We press it. I guess it was mostly warrior damage. We immune the poly. I guess it was mostly warrior damage. Dang, I'm not going to lie. This this should have been a dub for sure. Um I, that's really unfortunate, actually. I feel like you guys were far ahead, like 90% of that game. Yeah, I don't know. You played this well. <clears throat> Positioning-wise, just be, be sure. Do not um, leave the pillar. The pillar is your friend. Uh, the best time to go for CC is when you have port or when you see that the kill target's stunned. You can roll in, get an in-cap, maybe a sweep, pour it out, you're, you're done. Um, also, they got your trinket um, for free because, again, you could port. Um, but the biggest thing I'm noticing right now is we're stacking on our port. What you want to do is you want to put your port down behind a pillar and then move to like the other pillar. That way you can kind of port, keep porting back and forth, back and forth if they try to go you or CC you. Either way, you just want to make sure that you're just not on your port. And then don't stand in the middle of the map. This you Just stay on the pillar um, because it, it's... It, it's whew, you get CC forever, trust me. Um, it looks like we're playing Demon Hunter Warrior versus Frostmage Feral. So again, these are two squishy targets here. I think that you can probably... You can probably just hit the mage the whole game, honestly. It stops so much CC on you. Where And then even if he gets precog, just position him behind a pillar if you see it. And you should be good. Resto opens and Cyclones. Uh, if you can interrupt. They don't have to interrupt it. You're kind of, It's kind of a waste of interrupt because then they can't interrupt the mage on their damage. Um, I would say just port uh position so what i would do if i again it's really good though that you're seeing a, a pattern because when you start to play against the same players or the same same classes you'll notice some things that they do uh similar and a lot of wrestle druids <clears throat> will do the same they'll go for a rake stun into a cyclone so how you counter it without your teammates i mean you could rely on your teammates but if you didn't want to <clears throat> all you have to do is put your port like maybe on this side of the pillar uh, it's a little awkward but <clears throat> may, or maybe position it right here on this corner and then uh, play over here that way he has to rake stun you here he doesn't have time to run over here to get in between your your uh port and yourself and then you know you're fine you know then they can't get the cyclone so it's just more of a positioning thing you don't need your teammates um but, i mean you could for sure uh your warrior is trying he tried but i don't mind this go on the druid either i think rest of druid is absolutely kill target um that is I didn't see any cooldowns actually. There was no bark saying that's Feral Frenzy, insane rop as well. This is Incarn Icy Veins. Uh use your instant vivify when you can. Good. I know casting two of the miss, that's fine. And just heal. Yeah. Um use revival. Perfect. Did at the exact same time. All right. 
<laughs> reading my mind here. Good, good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, we do have Yulon available. We have Life Cocoon. So we have cooldowns to rotate when damage comes in hot. Polymorph as well on your warrior. Good to spell there. Um, <coughs> Incap the Druid. Good. Go for a song off if you can. Sweep. I actually, you know what? I'm not going to lie. If this mage was like noticed, you probably wouldn't get any songs because you're the only caster on the team. And he would just save the CS for your um, your Song of chi -Gi. So keep that in mind. You, you kind of want to be a little bit unpredictable. I would just go for the Leg Sweep here on the Druid. We get the, we, we, we get the song, though. That's fine. I don't mind that. Really good CC here. Demon, again, don't forget to heal, though. Don't don't forget to heal. Um, your Demon Hunter does not have Blur. It does have Netherwalk. Uh, we do have Yulon. Uh, Druid's coming in hot here. Bastion, you, again, you can port this. This 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 uh, Cyclone right here is avoidable. If you pour it, but we eat it. Okay, so we're taking the cyclone again. Take try to take advantage of your eminence where you can port while cy what port while stunned. That way you can avoid CC. They're not gonna kill you. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're not gonna kill you. I think you know you're staying far in the back. Your teammates will just bash on them while they try to kill you. I don't think they will. Just use it to avoid CC. Um, <clears throat> good job. We have renewing mist. Put renewing mist on your warrior as well uh, or your demon hunter. Perfect. Well done. Great job. We have a little bit of icy veins left, but overall we're keeping our teammates alive. Druids does. I don't think the druid has cooldowns for a little bit. In cap here again, we're pushed in. Okay, we're put. We're, we are in right now. Are we gonna go for a song as well? Oh my god, we're going for a song, and we get polyed on it. So that is this is one of the issues of pushing in as a misweaver. If you try to get anything more than the in cap, you're just you could get cc'd, interrupted, stunned, swap to, and die. So. We, we're now very far from our port. I would just be careful. We do get ice block there, which is really good. Perfect. Doing a really good job here. Polymorph as well. It's half. You're fine. Uh, your demon heart is doing damage um, after ice block, which is fantastic. And a lot of pressure here. Druid's running out of mana. Um, I'm trying to see. We do have life cocoon back, which is perfect. Reset our port here. Well done. Don't stack on it, though. Don't want to stack on it because then it, it, there's really you're losing the value on it. You know what I mean? Um, otherwise you can't avoid CC or even if like they try to kill you right now, you're just going to die again. The Druid pushes in here, gets a bash on you. We could, we could theoretically, if you wanted to, you could restore this. Um, unfortunately your teammates are out of line, so it doesn't get any value, but we could it depends on how far, how, like how far behind we fall right now. We're kind of, uh, that's cycling here. Insane in cap. Good way to interrupt it. Good, good, good. Song of Chigi as well. <laughs> Insane Song of Chigi. Life Cocoon on your Demon Hunter. Um, Renewing Mist on your Warrior is perfect. We're kiting away from the enemy team. Beautiful job kiting away from them. And this is it. That is perfect. You're home right here, by the way. You're home. I would have, in an ideal world, your port would be on the other pillar. But besides that, you are right here. You're locked in on this pillar. And the Druid is Oom. Um. So again, similar to the first game, even the similar to the second game, just focus on, on living. You have Revival or you have Restoral, which is perfect. Um, I know this is in patch 10.0.5, but you do have Thunder Focus C for instant Valkyrie Mist as well. Well done. Well done. And we killed the freaking mage. Awesome job, man. Awesome job. Uh, this right here towards the end was beautiful. Kiting away from the enemy team and just staying. Just stay on the pillar, especially this lane of damp. I mean, we're three minutes into this game. What's dampening at? Dampening has got to be at like 60% or something. Druid's Oom. Um, just focus on living. Perfect. Dampening's at 60. Yeah, 60%. Like incredible job great job you're healing i don't know what um issue with healing rotation you are you, you feel like you're having um you're doing a great job you're uh, you're definitely underutilizing eminence though to avoid cc so that is one thing you're falling behind because you're getting cc'd but it's completely avoidable avoidable most cc is avoidable um the only cc i have trouble with is hunters because they could scatter trap you but outside of that most cc you could just port while stunned and avoid it completely um, we're doing a really good job this game. Really well done. Um, again, I think you're going to say to your teammates that the Dresser Druid always gets a clone on you. But again, you can't avoid it. This is 100% avoidable. Keep that in mind. But if you want if you want help from your teammates, it's fine to ask. Of course, it's fine to ask. It's a 3v3 arena, not 1v3. So good work. Good work. Port down again. Statue up. Awesome job. I wouldn't be surprised if you just sw you could just swap to the Druid in the opener and kill him, uh, to be honest here. I, I think if he pushes in on you, there's the Rake stun. I think we just stun him and kill him. like Or get some kind of cooldown out of him. Feral Frenzy from the Feral Druid. That is uh, a leg sweep on the Druid as well. is beautiful. Um, what do we see? We see no cooldowns going out, but we're just... we Big damage from the Mage here. I think... Oh, the Iron Bark is too late. He didn't press Bark skin that whole time. 
Oh my lord, he died, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Unless he melts. Let me see. Your mage is cranking damage right now. That's Frozen Orb. Ice Lance is coming out. Uh, that's a Flurry. More Ice Lances. I think he dies. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic job here. I mean, not much to say about this round otherwise, uh, other than like, good. it's been a long time. It's, you know, it's been four, three rounds of the same thing. <clears throat> I'm pretty, maybe this will make the Druid like second guess doing it. Um, maybe not though. But again, I'm, I'll say it one last time. You can't avoid you can't avoid the cyclone on you if you just put your port on the other side of the pillar in position far away from it um we do have frost mage demon hunter versus arms warrior feral druid they are probably your heal you have to heal two pretty squishy targets here um <clears throat> i would say they're probably going to go your mage so get some hot rolling at the start of the game maybe get your statue channeling on them uh that way you have hot rolling if you get cc into cyclone other than that we're doing a really good job of just living and healing honestly we're doing a perfect job Let's see what we got. We got a port down. Beautiful. They've already initiated the fight. Battle stands from the warrior. It looks like they're going to your demon hunter right now because your your mage is uh, invisible. I, I you know I guess we're just chilling. Nice chaos over there. I think that was dispel. No, it doesn't spell. Okay. All right. Yeah. Again, one thing to note. So you are playing with a mage. You kind of have to switch your mindset a little bit because you are playing with a mage, um, which is kind of cool about solo shuffle. You play with classes you don't normally play with, which I think is really fun. Um, mage has poly DR, so that's your in-cap DR, which means try not to go for paralysis unless you see that your mage is really struggling or help your mage do their, like help, help your mage set up the polymorph. Maybe if you get a double leg sweep on the DPS, it gives them time to get a polymorph on the healer. <clears throat> it's a druid though, so they should struggle to get the polymorph on it. But Ring of Frost is, is good too. Song of Chigi, yeah. I it, it, right now it's a lost cause. I don't know. We're what do we have stunned up? We have the uh, Fell Grip, which is the what Feral Druid. Yeah, it's a lost cause. It, it, as soon as the Druid like gets out of there, right here, uh, it, just don't cast Song. I mean, the sweep is fine and all, but it's uh, just focus on healing. Um, you don't want to fall behind. I would say one reason you would fall behind is if you're just focusing on like CC. But try and do you. You want to try to do both at the same time. Um, we do ice. Oh, do we do ice block there? I I think you definitely could have said like I. It's it's a looks a little sketchy, but I think your mage was fine. I get it though. Um, that was also darkness from the demon hunter as well. So we did overlap darkness and ice block. At least we didn't overlap cocoon with it. So that's good too. Um, that is a ring of frost, which is really good into a DB. So that's trinket from the feral druid as well. We are out in the open though. That is our restoral, but we're out in the open, so we're, we are a little scared right now. Uh, my, maybe just a life cocoon here perfect you know um but again we're, we're out in the open they have again they have no they have no range interrupts for you they're they're all melee so this is a very favorable game for you in my opinion i think it's favorable because they can't interrupt you so just play far away just heal go for an in cap on the healer when you can and just you know wait until the team gets killed maybe wrap this tranquility beautiful job insane job Good, 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 good. I would maybe also opt to run Disarm instead of Peace Weaver as well versus this. Uh, they don't have a lot of magic damage, and the Warrior can do a ton of damage versus your teammates. So I would have dropped Peace Weaver and went with uh, Grapple Weapon. Uh, that way, every Warbreaker, you can disarm it. Uh, we do get Typhoon there. The Feral Druid is actually really good with Typhoons. Um, but we do, we, you know, we're able to keep it pretty good. That's a hunt from the Demon Hunter. It looks like the rest of Druid is actually taking a lot of heat here. Uh, no cooldowns. Uh, Iron Bark just came back. Maybe if, if, the, if the Druid has the Iron Bark himself, it's actually really, really good. Um, just swap off him. He's still not pressing Iron Bark. Oh, my Lord. Second Ice Block from your Mage as well. Great job. Just healing. Good work. Oh, your Mage Ice Blocks instantly goes for Polly. Oh, man. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good right now. Bring a Fire as well. Here comes some damage coming in hot. Iron Bark's down now. So there's definitely kill target. Again, Druid running out of mana. You, what do you got? Oh, okay, 17% mana. It's actually a little bit close. Uh, we do have life cocoon though. So whenever I, whenever like mana is like a little tight for both healers, I try to just look at cooldowns. And it looks like uh, overall we do have restoral here for the stun. We, we could you could also port it. You're in range. I see it right here. Um, but it looks like we stop it, which is great. Good leg sweep here. Great leg sweep into a ring of frost into a song of Chi Chi. Kill the warrior. He still has parry though. He still has parry. Dies dies with parry oh my god this warrior died with fear and parry that's that is very unfortunate for the rest of the journey of the team but well done with setting up see this is what i'm talking about right here the leg sweep is able to set up the mage maybe it was an accident maybe it was on purpose i don't know but it was beautiful because then you're able to get a song off that insane job good job healing um i don't have anything this, this again uh don't go out into the middle of the map though don't don't 
push out to the middle of the map. Uh, again, you're playing against two melee. You're playing against two melee. You do not need... You shouldn't get, be getting kicked at all. So you you don't even need to juke, really. Just focus on healing, and you'll be fine. Uh, again, uh, let's see what we got. We got great ring. Yeah, it was a beautiful ring, beautiful leg sweep, beautiful song of GG. Right at the end there was perfect. And, of course, the warrior not using fear or parry uh, is also good. <laughs> like, yep. Uh, <clears throat> we don't mind that. We take those wins for sure. Uh, now we have an Armist Warrior, Havoc Demon on Resurgurid versus Feral Frost Mage. So again, they're probably going to go on your Frost Mage a lot here. I think you should be okay. Just I, they don't have ranged kicks for you. The Druid's probably going to do the same thing he always does. Let me get raked on you. Uh, try not to. Again, this is you don't you want to avoid stacking on your port. Yes, go a little further. Go a little further to the right just like right over here just right here that's all right that's all right uh they hunt you which i think we're fine with and there is no rake stun as well so all right this is good port beautiful awesome you could port back as well your mage is going for big damage here warrior used avatar here comes a cyclone potentially on you from the druid Kick this. Geist in cap. That's fine. Good. Good. Leg sweep here is perfect. Might even get a trinket. We got bark skin, which is amazing. Uh, Druid is definitely a kill target. Mage might ice block. Mage doesn't like to take the risk. He's not a gambler. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's all good. Get a kick on that cyclone? Hell yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So definitely this this series, we've unutilized kick for sure. Because there were like three or four cyclones. Well, there were three or four cyclones we could have definitely kicked for sure. And then there were like two or three that we could have ported if we positioned a little bit better and not stacked on our port. So keep that in mind. Uh, we do get feared here from the sigil from the demon hunter. Druid Druid has no cooldowns, no NS, no barks, no iron bark. I would actually probably kill the rest of Druid here if the Pharaoh has a lot of uptime. Uh, the mage has, I don't know if the mage has any damage though. I'm not seeing any glacial spikes coming out. That's frost bolts, but he just cold snapped as well. So he does have the second block. Uh, the, no, 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 he doesn't have second on his block. Okay, he still has hypothermia. Oh, uh, that's Vortex. Again, we're doing a good job here. Druid pushes in on you. We do try to port it. We do try to port it. Uh, we do Trinket. Oh, we do Overlap. We do tr we overlap Trinket and Ice Block. Um, these Cyclones don't matter because your Mage is Ice Blocked and your Druid should be fine. But that is a little bit of a big overlap. I, I mean, I guess we have Cyclone in 12, but I, right now we want to play it a little bit safe. Really good Polymorph on the Druid. Right now we're just trying to keep our Mage alive right now. Do not try to go for any follow-up CC. Just keep him alive. Beautiful job. Parry from the warrior as well. Um, we do have instant vivify in five seconds. I don't know if it's going to matter. We do have port backs. Oh, my God. Whew. Keep your team, keep your teammates alive. Keep your teammates alive, please. <laughs> okay, good, good. Um, we have life cocoon in two seconds. We do have restoral as well. So if we see cyclone, good restoral there. Perfect. <clears throat> good job. Good, good, good. Life cocoon is perfect. Uh, but now we have no cooldowns. So here, this is when it gets a little sketchy. <laughs> we have no cooldowns right now. Uh, ring of Peace here for your mage is good. This is a good ring. Allows him to get some uh, damage. Ins <sighs> Insane wrap. Insane wrap on the warrior there. Good, good. Uh, looks like we're doing dog piling the druid, and we get the kill. We get the kill. No Todd, no problem. Hell yeah. Insane games, man. I... I there are not many, there were not too many things I've seen wrong, but there are definitely some things that can help you. First of all, your healing rotation is fine. Um, I think the reason you're falling behind is because you're clicking your frames. I don't know if it's voodoo. I don't know if it's heal, but I don't know what it is, but it takes away your awareness in the arena, like from what's happening in front of you. And we miss things, you know, like that one for the first rake stun on you. So keep that in mind. But other than that, your healing rotation is perfect. You're keeping your renewing mist up on your, on your teammates, which is amazing. You're using your Vivify is perfect. Maybe I would drop, if you're playing, I would I would drop uh, Misty Peaks and go for Overflowing Mist. That way you don't have to use a lot of globals on renewing mist. And you can just focus on healing, getting CC. Um, as far as positioning goes, positioning is kind of where it's hard for Mist Weaver. Because if you position poorly, you, you get punished so easily. So definitely underutilize your port while stunned. D use it. Every, every chance you can. Like whether you're avoiding CC, um, avoiding damage, anything, anything. Um, put your port on a pillar and then go to the other pillar to make it difficult. So like put your port here and then instantly just like you could roll or whatever, you you know, get to this pillar. That was what you want. You want to get to this pillar that way if they try to CC you, do damage to you. Because guess what? This port is useless. Even if they were hitting you, this port, this port is useless because you port nowhere. So you want to make sure you're on opposite pillars of your port. That way you can avoid maximum, avoid 
damage, CC, anything on you. Um, a more for positioning, a don't go out in the open. That's that it's scary out there. Pretend it's like the ocean, man. It's scary. You know, the sharks, these are sharks out here, all right? And we barely know how to swim out there. So try your best to push in for in caps for sure. I think, I think it's huge. Like, I, that this is what I try to do, at least in my solo shuffles, uh, is I'll try to get an in cap when I see damage going out. If I can't get there for a sweep or a, a song, I just try to sweep the DPS if they're off Sun DR. I mean, that's really what I do. Um, try to get some value out of your leg sweep, push in if you have to, but try to port out when you can. Um, and then try to use your kick as well. Use your kick to avoid, you know, kick CC. You could use it to kick a ton of the polys. Um, but overall, man, like uh, not bad at all. Oh, also talents. Um, you played against the warrior three rounds versus warrior mage. Yeah, I think it was good to play Peace Weaver. But versus warrior um, feral, I would have I would have actually played disarm probably every game. Actually, versus warrior, I think warrior is like really important to uh, to disarm. So I just do your best to maybe drop Peace Weaver. It versus like warrior and not a caster like warrior demon hunter even and like warrior feral and then just play disarm um and you didn't play em you didn't use eminence much though so maybe you could drop that too if they're not trying to hit you i would just maybe drop it and just position a little bit better because that's what positioning allows you to do you could drop eminence and then you can use your positioning to make it really difficult for them to stun you and then you don't really have to worry about dying or getting cc'd and then you could play an extra pvp talent like I, versus mage warrior i would have played chrysalis zen focus t disarm i wouldn't have played eminence uh, just because I know they can't really kill me, and then you can just, you know, disarm the warrior whenever you can. But again, I'm rambling. This was a great series, great game. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how your heart stuck 1600. I think once they tone down Rets and, you know, maybe they'll probably nerf Fist Weaver a little bit, I think Mist Weaving is going to be very strong still, and I think you're going to be fine. I think you're going to be fine. Your healing is fantastic. So great work. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who may be struggling to the same issues, same comps, same classes, and that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.